so in the intro picture that I posted there, that was uh, my number one piston at top dead center with the slipped gear. And as you can see, the way this is supposed to be in every other one that I've checked over the years, um, this laser mark right here on top of the gear, there's a laser mark on there, and then you got two laser marks on the uh, cam gear that uh, go right, you know, the, those two teeth go mesh together. Um, it should be in line with your bolt holes here, and your pin should be at 45 degrees when you're at top dead center up there on uh, cylinder number one. And as you can clearly see by that picture, it's off by quite a bit. And I don't even have it at top dead center on that picture. Um, I had it a little bit past. But uh, if I brought it back a little bit, you'd see that that laser mark is not lining up, you know, with the bolt there. So uh, really the only way to check that is you need to know where top dead center is and then you can zero it in as accurately as possible. Um, I suppose you could guess and get it close enough, but uh, using the dial indicator is probably the best way to um, make sure that you have it dialed in as close as you can possibly get it because there are, are no marks on the crankshaft as to where that gear goes when they press that thing on there. So uh, clearly a slipped gear, um, hearing more and more about it. Not a lot of information on there, you know, on the uh, interwebs about uh, how to time these things. Nothing in any kind of service information. Uh, no TSBs that I could find or anything on that. So uh, anyway, we went ahead and TIG welded this in four equal spots around the gear uh, that, that should keep it on there. Uh, right now it's timed. If you're going to do this, you're going to need to have some extensions for your dial indicator so that you can get down the, uh, uh, not the glow plug, but the uh, injector hole. And it's pretty tricky to do that because the crown on the, in the piston inside the uh, combustion chamber comes to a point. So it's kind of tricky. It's one of those check and check and check again type of deals to make sure you're at top dead center when you're doing it like this. With the cylinder head off, it'd be a piece of cake. But uh, lining these timing marks back up is not that hard. Um, you're just going to pull the gear off. Uh, what I did was I threw it on a hot plate. I don't know how hot I got it, but I, I warmed it up and, uh, you know, put it, you know, got everything where I wanted it and then, uh, put it back on without moving the crankshaft and, uh, and then double check it, you know, when you're done, double check your top dead center and double check your mark. So right now we're, we're pretty darn close. Uh, there's, no way you're going to get that. That's never going to be perfect up there. I've never seen any of them where you had line to line down here and the uh, pump gear was perfect, but the teeth are going together like they're supposed to, so not going to worry about it, but that's how you're going to do that. Uh, it's not that difficult, and uh, apparently it's a problem, and there's some more information for the internet. Have a good day.